this is just a very short little video I'm showing you how to set the gauge height for our wireless tool height and what we're going to do is we're going to probe it and what you can see here is you've got the gauge height and it's been set to 47.35 millimeters now um, this is just slightly higher than it should be just for the, so we can show you how to calibrate it and then you've got here on the max distance that's going to be the distance on 30 that will be how far it'll probe before it stops this is the fast speed this is going to be the speed that it will come down on initial probe and then and then on here it'll come on the slow probe which is to give you an accurate number now these are variable anything above 250 normally the the software will warn you that you might be going too fast but again that's up to yourself so here goes so what we will do here is we'll just this is a little routine that we've written so this is the auto tool zero this is for our mm series mills so we just press it here first thing it's going to ask you is to press the probe to make sure it's working so you can see a green light on the screen here then it's going to say have you got the tool height underneath ready to start probing you can always say no and cancel out but we'll just say yes it's going to ask us tool number on this occasion we don't care so we'll just leave it at zero it does the initial first probe it comes up and then it comes down very slowly as you can see now it's gone up to what uh, a safe height so what we've done is here you can see that we've said after probing go up to 10 mil above the surface of the probe so what we'll do is now we'll move the probe that away and what we're going to do now is we're going to just make the z-axis come down now you can use uh, whatever you want but uh, in this case we're going to use a feeler gauge and we've got this one set to 0.2 millimeters but you can do anything you can see we're now bringing the z-axis down to about 0.75 millimeters over the surface obviously we're taking great care that we haven't crashed into the table and damaged the tool etc so what we'll do now is we will have the gauge there and what we will now do is we'll come down uh, 0.1 millimeters at a time and you can see we're just above the surface now so what we'll do is now we'll trigger that down to 0.01 millimeters and what we're waiting for is basically for the to feel resistance on the on the feeler gauge just starting to feel it there and that's it so what we'll do is we'll pull that away now so basically you what you can see here is it thinks now it is 0.3825 millimeters above the surface now we know because the feeler gauge is 0.2 we know that this value should be close to 0.2 or slightly below it now because this is higher that means uh, it'll go into the table for zero so what we can do now is we can just modify this here and how you can do this is because this is this is higher we have to reduce this typically what you can do is you can look and say this is by about 3.5 uh, and then what you'll do is you'll just whatever difference there is you can half it and then put in a value on this case approximately 47.15 which we know will give us a very good reading and obviously you can repeat this process until you're happy Typically what you want to do is you actually want um, the reading to be slightly under which will compensate for different material heights and tolerances in what you're cutting but um, I hope this helps so 
what we'll do is we will go with some extra videos showing some other details of the milling machine but um, just uh, so you can see how to calibrate this thank you very much for watching take care